Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another unboxing video today, or is this a uh, de-enveloping? Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I'm not confident of what this is. I've got a couple new companies that have offered to send me stuff, so it's one of them. I know within about two things what it is, but let's get it open and find out. So, here we go. Okay. Voila, we have. So this is the Drum Buddy from Lakato, and if you recognize that name, I have unboxed several of their stuff in the past. They make um, accessories for musical instruments. And this particular one is a loop pedal with a built-in drum machine. You can see from the box, it's very small. So let's get it open and uh, take, take a look here. My gosh, it's really tiny. So we've got a cable here, which probably means it's probably got an internal battery. We've got, this must be our pedal. My gosh, that is small. And then we've got a manual and there's the manual. So let's get the pedal out of the sleeve here. Wow, that is really tiny. There it is. That is really tiny. There's a drum machine and a looper in this little thing. That is pretty crazy, but you can see it says, Lakato Drum Bunny Buddy here. We've got two knobs at the top. We've got two uh, foot switches here and it looks like we've got two buttons. So I'm gonna have to check out the manual real quick and try to figure out how all this works together. But it's probably, this one probably does the loop. This one probably starts and stops the drum. I don't know, I'm guessing. Let's find out. Okay, so let's try this thing out here. So I've got one of my homemade guitars and one of my homemade amps hooked up here and you should be able to hear that. <laughs> Okay, and then down on the floor here, I've got the pedal. Now, I'm gonna use two cameras here so I can switch between. So let's switch to the pedal view. And you can see on the pedal, you've got an LCD screen in the middle. And as I push these buttons, the number will change either up or down. And then it'll go back to 30 once you go past one and so on and so forth. So that's the actual drum pattern that's loaded. And then if I click this button for one second, it'll start the drum machine. So you can hear that first one is really boring. It's just a click, basically. But if we go through some of these others, that's a little more interesting, or that one. And then this knob here controls the volume of the drum machine. So you can have it really quiet or really loud. I'll have it kind of somewhere in the middle here. Let's try a couple more patches. I'm not gonna do all of them, but let's do a few of them. So there's a few of them. Let's go back to number four. I kind of liked that one. So let's go back to here. So first of all, if we want to change the tempo, we can do that with the strum button. We just tap it. So watch this. If I want to slow this down, really, really slow. Or I can speed it way up. Let's go for somewhere in the middle. That seems like a pretty good beat, okay? And then on the other side, we've got this looper button. So what that does is just engages a standard looper. So I can play the guitar and capture a loop. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So there it's gonna play back that loop to the drum beat. Now you can change the loop volume with this knob. So I can make the loop quieter or louder. And I can also change the drum volume. So I can make the drum really quiet, I can make the drum really loud and make the loop really quiet. But I'll get it to somewhere where it sounds like a pretty decent mix. And now of course, once you have that, you can play along with it. So 
let's try something else. Instead of plugging it into this cheap little amp here, let me try plugging this directly into the audio interface so you get a high quality audio. And um, we'll run that through so you can kind of see how the drum samples sound. And then I'll play a bass along with it and we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, so there you have it, folks. That was the Drum Buddy from Lakato. Very compact little pedal here and uh, kind of functional. I kind of like it. You know, this would be great for a beginner who wanted to have some rhythms to play with. It's a lot more interesting than just a metronome, but if you wanted just a metronome, it can do that too. But a lot of times, most people would rather have like a drum beat to play with as opposed to just a click, click, click. So this does add a lot to your playing here. And I love the fact that they put in a built-in looper so you could play a couple chords, solo over it. You've got the drums. You're basically a one-man band. It's really flexible. These are currently selling for about uh, $46 on Amazon. Fairly inexpensive. One thing I did want to note, you guys might have seen in the video, I used one of these little nine volts with a, with a uh, little dongle here. And if I plug that in, you hopefully will see it power on, everything lights up. Okay, this is not included. I already had this, and this is a standard Boss style power supply, but I already had this. This is not included, so there is no power supply included. Now, it does include this USB cable, and if you're curious, this is a type C cable on this end, and I plugged this in and then plugged it into my computer just to see what would happen, and it does not power the pedal. The pedal is not able to be powered on USB. It does go into a PC mode where it says PC on the screen and according to the manual you can download their software and edit certain parameters and save some things and stuff within the pedal but I haven't messed at all with that yet. And if you like what I do on this channel I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.